Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna be going over some of our favorite RV outdoor products. Camping season is right around the corner here, so we wanna make sure that you're set up for this camping season right. So let's roll that intro so we can get into it. First on our list is the foundation of your outdoor setup, which is an outdoor rug. We love this thing. It's so nice to be able to put down something, whether you're camping on grass or dirt or really anything. We're even camping right next to pavement. So it's nice to have a little bit of a outdoor rug off the pavement. So uh, this is the first item that you need to look for and get for your outdoor camping setup. The next item on our list is this outdoor pop-up gazebo. So some people are brand loyalists and really like the brand Clam, which is perfectly fine. And that is the product we were going to go with. But two years ago, we opted to go with a pop-up tent by Gazelle and it's held up really well. We love this tent because the mesh on it is extremely fine. So it keeps out even those smaller insects. So you can stay protected. We also love to use this tent with our fire pit, which is on the list and we will show you next. But this room is able to keep the heat in from the fire pit on those chilly nights so you can still enjoy the outdoors even when it's not summer. An accessory that you can pick up for this pop-up tent are these outdoor wall panels. So it's just a sheet of fabric, but it's solid. So that way, if you do want to make this area a little bit more private, you're able to put out these outdoor walls and enclose the space even more. This is even better for heat retention in the winter months when you have your fire pit in here and it adds some privacy, which is really nice. The last thing that we love about this tent is how easy it is to set up. It pops up with both Jason and I working on it in less than 30 seconds. So it's really easy to set up, really easy to take down, and it folds up really compact so it doesn't take a lot of space in your storage. All right, we've spent a lot of time around campfires over the last four years we've been on the road. And I think we finally found the most perfect campfire and it is the Outland uh, propane campfire. It is very easy to use. It doesn't smell and the best part is when we're done we can just turn it off and we don't have to worry about pouring water and getting ash everywhere and just that whole process of dealing with the end of night of a campfire. So uh, the other thing we really like about Outland fire pits is that they provide a ton of heat. We've sat around quite a few propane fire pits that you end the night freezing cold, but this one definitely puts off enough heat to keep you warm. It also comes with a cover and a strap to uh, be able to bring it with you and just easily grab and go. And the thing we like about it is that we're able to just throw it into our storage bay and we don't even need to have a cover for it. And the next item are these club camping chairs. We absolutely love these chairs. They're extra padded in here, super comfy and cozy. We love how high the back is and that it's actually enclosed all the way around. So for those chilly nights where the campfire is keeping your front warm, the chair is keeping your back warm, which is really, really nice. These fold up really compact and the material is this really beautiful heather gray color. So we imagine these camping chairs to be in our arsenal for the rest of the time we're on the road. And next up on our list is something that takes something you need and makes it a little bit more functional. And that's actually this propane bag. So what's really neat about this propane bag is that it covers our propane tank necessary for the propane fire pit and turns it into a functional table. And so it's super convenient because I'm able to actually have a little bit of space if we're out eating outside or something. I don't need to carry around another table. 
just this really, really lightweight bag, and I'm able to turn my my propane tank into a, uh, a nice thing. And it has a couple of pockets to hold things so we keep our lighter in there. And yeah, I, I really enjoy it. I thought it was kind of a frivolous purchase, but I think it's, it's great. It's worked out well as a great side table. And speaking of side tables, we also highly recommend this one. It's just made out of plastic, but it's sturdy enough to hold your drinks or any food or silverware and everything that you would need to just have a little side table for. I probably wouldn't put something extremely heavy on this or I wouldn't sit on it, but it's great to have and I actually really love that it's gray as well. So it matches these chairs really well. And we normally do have this in the middle here so we both can have our drinks on it. And then this is like an extra side table that we like to put maybe a tiki torch on or any other extra beverages when we have company around our campfire. So I think that's it for this section, right? Yeah. Hey, good job. Doing good. Good. Cheers. Oh, we do have a couple more items to cover. All right, let's go see those. Our list wouldn't be complete without our Green Mountain Girl Davy Crockett. We picked this bad boy up last year and we put quite a few hours on it. As you can tell from its nice clean patina that uh, we have been cooking tri-tips and jalapeno poppers and all the delicious campfire food and I think I will never be without a smoker camping again. The biggest pros to the Davy Crockett versus any other portable grill that I've seen is that this one runs off of 12 volt and so it draws very little power and I was able to just put a easy cigarette lighter into the coach and I can wire it directly to my batteries. It is big enough also to cook for family and friends when they come over and you can even put a pizza oven inside and have delicious pizza nights. With this unit, the legs fold up and it's very compact and easy to bring with you. And next up on our list are our string lights. So we love these string lights because they're LEDs, so they don't take a lot of power, so we use them when we're boondocking as well. We actually purchased the string lights that had glass bulbs and we replaced them with plastic LED bulbs. We found this way to be cheaper than just buying the LED bulbs directly. So there's a little tip for you if you wanna do it that way, or feel free to just buy the LED bulbs right from the factory instead of doing what we did. We we currently have them strung up underneath our RV with command strip hooks that were actually meant to hang your Christmas lights. So those are a perfect little tool to get your string lights up wherever you want around the campground. When we don't have them underneath our RV, we like to hang them in between RVs when we're caravanning with friends or in between the RV and our gazebo. We think that these string lights just add a little extra oomph to our RV outdoor setup and that's why they've made our list. And our last two recommendations have to do with bugs because if you're like me, you're always the person that gets bit first. Anytime there's any mosquito within miles, they come for you. So I'm very passionate about these. And so we use two things to keep the bugs away from us while camping. And the first is our heavily used tiki torches. We really like these uh, cute kind of tabletop tiki torches. As Ray mentioned earlier, we'll usually put this on a table or we'll kind of make like a circle around us as we're camping. We like that they're very small, compact. Uh, they still do the same job as a tiki torch when you put citronella in them. And we don't have to carry large sticks anywhere with us. So uh, these are a great find and they come in different types. You don't have to get this exact one. Um, there's tons of tabletop options. And the final outdoor product we recommend is Picaridin. Picaridin. Uh, honestly, I don't know how to say this, but we'll have the link down below. I'm gonna call it Picaridin. And this stuff is amazing. It works uh, probably about 80% effective compared to you know the, the deep uh, off woods like really intense bug spray that I feel like anytime I put it on me, I have like an oily residue on my skin. I, I just hate that feeling. 
So I found this stuff and it's actually a lotion and I really, really like it. I even bought this big massive container because I end up putting it on pretty much the entire summer while we're camping because those bugs love me. And so what I like about this is because it's a lotion, I can put it on early in the morning before I take Carmen out for a walk and I don't feel greasy and I don't feel like I'm gonna have this bug spray on me that just kind of like melts anything it comes into contact with. So last thing on our list. All right, that's our list of 10 products for outdoors. And if you're looking for more ideas, we do have a blog post at getawaycouple.com, which we'll put the link down here, uh, that has 30 items and they are all amazing. We just didn't have time to showcase everything here. So go check that out. I have linked these top 10 products in the description of this video where you can just go directly to these products on Amazon. But other than that, let us know what products you can't live without for your RV outdoor camping setup. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to join our getaway gang. We'll see you next time. Bye, Bye guys. guys. Camping season is almost here. <laughs> so that's our list of 10. <laughs> if that didn't get, uh, didn't satiate you. <laughs> <laughs> Go turn the propane on. And the next item are these club champ clink. The biggest pros to the Davy Crockett. And lastly for our setup. And lastly, our last. We have them stringed, stringed up. Strung up? Str <laughs> Stranged. <laughs>